for the truth the girls. Hi everyone. If you've been trying to figure out what to do with those two hits of acid that your friend sent you for New Year's, don't throw them away just yet because they might come in handy one day. New research is showing psychedelic drugs like LSD could be used to treat depression. LSD is one of those drugs that has been pretty low on the list of priorities well, when it comes to pharmaceuticals to research for the purpose of treating psychiatric problems. But uh, Professor David Nutt uh, is promoting this, advocating, saying that this is probably uh, the, the greatest opportunity we have in, in mental health, psychedelics. Um, and he's saying that because of some studies which have shown that it's useful in treating depression and PTSD. It says here, a previous brain imaging study by the same team showed that psilocybin decreased blood flow to certain important hub structures in the brain, meaning that closely linked brain areas became less tightly synchronized. What does this mean? The scientists believe this could explain why the drug appears to help patients overcome conditions such as depression, addiction, and post-traumatic stress, where pathological patterns of thought become so entrenched they are difficult to reverse. Psychedelics get a lot of bad press. You, you know, you think psychedelics and you think like burnout, people jumping out of windows, going crazy. Uh, but new research shows there's actually no link found between psychedelics and psychosis. Although side effects may include talking like Andrea Feldman in an Andy Warhol movie, my dear. Some people are really big promoters of this. Some people really think this is the greatest opportunity we have in mental health. Considering psychiatry's checkered history, I'd say it can't be any worse than anything they've done before. I've been secretly studying the history of psychiatry for, I don't know, maybe a year now or so, and they've been through a lot of phases and they've tried a lot of different treatments. You know that LSD came up, but it was sort of in connection with the MK Ultra program. They were using it to really traumatize people and wipe their memories. So it didn't go too well, or maybe it went the way they wanted it to, but not, not very good for the, the public, or at least the people in the experiments. It, it, it's, it's been a long and strange road for them. Let's just say they haven't really known what they've been doing all along. I mean, people always had sort of confidence psychiatrists, but they were just doing who knows what? You know, ask, take, giving somebody LSD is probably not the weirdest thing that they've ever done, like in the field of mental health. I mean, there, there's a history of things like psychosurgery and a lot of treatments that induce seizures like uh, insulin shock uh, therapy, metrazole uh, seizures. That was like a cardiac medicine that would bring you to the brink of death. Of course, there was also electroconvulsive therapy a lot of pretty barbaric stuff. At one point, the whole thing was water cure, and they thought they could, like, sort of stimulate your system and, like, shock you back into sanity by immersing you in freezing water, these kinds of things. Basically, they, they put people through a lot, and uh, now I guess the focus is more on pharmaceuticals, and, and maybe are they getting a little bit better with therapy? I'm not sure. But acid is probably not the most far out thing that they could be giving to psych patients. You know, hallucinogens are probably really under undervalued and underappreciated. I mean, I'm not suggesting everybody go out there and start tripping balls, but I think maybe we need to reevaluate drug policies because maybe there are some substances that are already known out there that could really benefit people under the right circumstances. And not just for psychiatric problems, but take for example, psilocybin mushrooms which can uh, give relief of, from cluster headaches. Cluster headaches are horrible headaches that can really drive people crazy and suicidal. And while well, the mushrooms work, they can get rid of your headaches for months at a time. Just saying. Also, LSD can do the same thing, alleviate the suicide headaches. You don't have to be tripping balls. This is pretty interesting. There is a non-hallucinogenic form of LSD called 2-bromolysergic acid diethylamide, and it works uh, for cluster headaches too. So you can get the benefit of getting rid of your headache without tripping balls, if that's not so much your bag. So those hits of acid that your friend from Spain sent you for New Year's that you got in the Christmas card and you're like, what am I gonna do with this? 
Let's just hope the cat doesn't get it. Well, maybe there will be use for it down the road. And plus, there's all these people suffering from cluster headaches and they can't get any relief because they can't get any acid. I think I would be too chicken to actually take LSD to get rid of a headache. Like I say, drugs is just really not my bag. But uh, what do you think? You think maybe drug laws need to be loosened up so that there could be more research and that so there's less prohibition? Let me know what you think. And thanks for listening to me. And I'll see you next time.